Welcome everyone to one more session in data structures and algorithms tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to learn about operations in a circular linked list. So, if you want more such videos from Edignite NGO, then please like, share and subscribe to the Edignite NGO channel. So in the last session, we learned about circular linked list. What is actually circular linked list? Today, we will implement it using C as well as we will learn some operations of a circular linked list. So, a circular linked list is very simple. Okay, if you, if you have learned, okay, if you have thoroughly learned the singly linked list, okay, then circular linked list and operations in circular linked lists are very simple. So, this is the head node, okay, head node is pointing to next, then the next node is pointing to next, okay, next of it and then we have one more node that is pointing over here and the node at last will point to the head node, okay, node at last will point again to the head node. So, this is the whole circular linked list. Okay, this is the whole circular linked list. Now, we have several operations over here. First one is traversal. Okay, first one is traversal. How to traverse it? Okay, in the, in the previous sessions, if you have attended previous sessions, then uh, what we did it, in, in case of singly linked list, we just have, we had run the while loop and while the next pointer, un, we had run the while loop and we printed the data inside the node until the next of particular node did not point to null, okay. But over here, we don't have, okay, we don't have any node that is pointing to null, okay. We, instead we have a uh, a node okay we have a node that is pointing to head okay so what we can do is we can run a while loop we can run a while loop and we can print the data of each and every node until until the uh, the pointer okay we can have a current node okay and then we can just move the current node from here to here okay we can move the current node from from here first it will be here then it will be here then it will be there and then it will be over there so we can have the current node okay until until the current node is not equal to head okay until the current node is not equal to head we can run it okay but you will uh, you will ask a question hey we need to run while loop until the current node is not equal to head but we are starting with the head node okay we are starting with the head node so we will not be able to enter inside the head node what we will do for that we will use do while loop okay for that we will use do while loop either just uh, either you can stop at over here stop over here until until next stop current is not equal to head we need to run the loop okay or we can stop over here we can stop over here the the advantage of stopping over here is we can print the data of this this last node okay this last node so, if you have any other way, then write in the comment section below. Over here, we will use the do while loop, okay? So, let us move to our Visual Studio code and implement circular linked list. And yes, if you haven't, if you aren't aware about this particular code, this particular uh, color theme, then this is Edignite NGO theme that is made by Prince Verma sir and alumni of Edignite NGO. So, if you liked the theme, then do install it and use it in your Visual Studio code. Over here, we will copy it and control C and then we will paste it. Okay. We will paste the whole code over here. Okay. Now, fifth next, next of fifth will be equal to head. Okay. Fifth next will be equal to head. And now, over here, traversal. In the traversal, let, let me just uh, write over here current. Okay, current node will be equal to head. Okay, current node will be equal to head. And over here, current not equal to head. Okay, until current is not equal to head, we need to print the element. Okay, now what we will do is, we will just cut this while. Okay, 
we will cut this while from here and we will paste it over here control x we will write do and we will write while okay we will give a do while loop okay do while the property of do while loop is it runs at least once okay so it will go inside this it will go inside this and it will run okay it will run now hit okay now the current will be equal to next current will be equal to the next of head okay current will be equal to second and then it will check the condition is current equal to head no it's not equal to head so it will again run the loop okay so this is the beauty of do while loop okay now we have saved it okay and this is a circular linked list so let us run the code okay let us run the code you see that we have got let, let me just kill this terminal okay let me kill this terminal because it it also shows the results of previous things okay so we have done this and and now uh, let, let me just uh, print okay let me have a new line over here backslash n okay backslash n and over here let me print circular linked list okay so print f print f traversal of traversal of the circular linked list of the circular 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 linked list traversal of circular linked list let me save it and then run the code okay run the code so over here you see that we have a circular linked list 45 53 23 56 and 78 okay so we have got our circular linked list with five elements so this was about traversal in a circular linked list now let us move to our whiteboard and let us look at look at the second operation okay the second operation that is insertion okay that is insertion now over here insertion can be okay over here insertion can be at first okay insertion can be at first or insertion can be in between okay for insertion in between for insertion in between you can uh, you can look at the code that was given in the previous lecture okay that uh, add, that was given in the previous lecture uh, only one condition you need to add in the while loop is you need to run the loop until the next is not next does not point to okay until the next does not point to this particular head okay until next does not point to head so in we will not see about insertion in between but we will look at insertion at first okay so for inserting okay for inserting a node at first for inserting a node at first what we can do is first of all we can uh, first of all we will give the data inside it okay first of all we will give a data inside it suppose 101 meaning we want to give 101 now we will also have okay we will also create one more pointer named ptr okay PTR that will first it will point to head okay or first it will point to next of head okay then in the while loop it will point to this uh, next loop and it will go on until until it finds the last node okay which one will be the last node okay whose next is pointing to head okay so this is this will be the last node so it will just point over here to this particular pointer okay let me erase uh, the another arrows okay control z let me erase both of these arrows let me just give this will be the pointer it will point to this node over here okay now what we, we need to do okay what we can do first of all first of all we have we have head over here okay we already have head over here so first our first step will be our first step over here will be to point this uh, the next of pointer okay point the next of pointer so this will be our first step we will point to this okay and we will remove this 
okay then we will point this to the first one okay so we will remove all of these things and we will point this to head so this will be the second step okay this we will point this to head and then at last we will we will point our head okay head to this node okay so this is insertion at first this will be our third step this will be this whole thing will be our third step so this way we can we can insert an element at first okay now let us move to visual studio code okay and look at it practically okay so over here over here let me comment out let me comment out insertion at first okay so let me write insert insertion insertion at first insertion at first and over here let me i i, I will I will return a node, okay, a node pointer that will contain address of node, insert, insert, underscore, at, underscore, first, okay, insert, at, first, insert, at, first, first of all, it will accept head and it will accept data, okay, it will accept data, okay, now we need to create a new node and data inside the new node okay will be equal to data okay it will be equal to data now we need to create a pointer okay so let me just write struct node node star ptr okay star ptr 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 equal to head okay equal to head we press tab okay now over here we need to run a while loop okay so over here we will run a while loop while okay while ptr next okay while ptr next is not equal to head while ptr next is not equal to head just uh, move your ptr okay now ptr will be at last okay over here we can also print something okay so here we can just write add element element okay add element then we can write percentage d and then we can have ptr data or we can just write okay over here we can give int i okay over here you can have int i equal to int i equal to one int i equal to one and over here we can give i okay and then we can just write i plus plus okay at element this so over if uh, this is uh, i have written this print statement just to debug okay just to debug our code so here when it reaches the last element okay when it reaches the last element what we need to do first okay first we need to have okay we need to give ptr next okay ptr next is equal to new node okay ptr next equal to new node new node next equals equal to head okay new node next equal to head and head head equal to okay or so, oops, sorry new node head new no, node next equal to head and head equal to new node okay head head equal to new node okay head equal to new node so here we need to give head equal to new node and then return head okay now let us uh, let us look at this okay so i will just print okay i will print the statement first okay uh, inserting at first inserting at first and let me let me just have backslash n or let us let me give one more backslash n over here okay and over here i will write head equal to insert at first insert at first 101 we want to insert at first 101 and then we want to traverse it okay we want to traverse it now let us run the code okay let us run the code oops we have an error okay we need to give print f okay print f instead of print so we have an error okay let, let me rerun the code 
let me rerun the code print f okay we have an error inside the while loop okay we have error inside this okay so we need to give print f okay then save it and then again run the code okay again run the code so over here over here as you can see as you can see that we have got at element 4 okay so it went inside it okay it, it was now at element 4 and now the pointer okay pointer the pointer went to 5 okay it went to at uh, it went at element 5 but the next of fifth element was head okay next of fifth element was head so the while loops terminated over there itself okay and you can see over here element 1 is equal to 101 and then we have all other elements later on okay you see as it starts from 45 over here okay it starts from 45 over here okay so let let me just see okay it starts from 45 53 okay but over here over here over here it starts from 101 45 53 and so on okay so this way we can insert at at first okay so this was about inserting at first now what about deleting okay what about deletion so let me move down over here okay so i will just write deletion 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 at an index or at uh, a, for a particular value is uh, is very much similar to what we have studied before okay so we will just look at we will look at deletion at first how to do deletion at first so let me have a circular linked list okay so let us have a circular linked list over here okay i will have nodes okay and one more node over here okay let me move down a bit okay so this is head this is head i will just write h over here okay i will point this to next i will point again this to next and this to next pardon me for my drawing okay and i want to delete this element okay i want to delete head okay so what i will do first of all i need to take again i need to take a pointer okay pointer which will stop over here okay at the last node which will stop at the last node okay so one thing i need to do is one step first step i need to take is i need to point this over here okay control z i need to point this i need to point this over here okay and also i will also write okay i will also give head in x okay i will store my head inside x so let me just write i will store my head inside x pointer okay i will store my head inside x pointer so first i i will do this i will first of all i will do this okay this can be the second step okay this can be the second step so this is the circular link list okay so we have broken this we have broken this link okay and now we need to point our head over here okay so instead of this i will point my head over here and i will remove this so this will be the third step okay and then i will free this thing okay so this will be the fourth step okay this will be the fourth step so let us try it let us try it in our visual studio code okay so let me move this let me move or uh, close it and over here let let me do it over here deletion at first okay so i will write deletion deletion at first deletion at first okay deletion at first okay and now in deletion at first i will i will just copy the whole code from here okay i will copy the code from here and i will paste it over here okay 
paste it over here and i need to delete at first so i just need head i just need to pass my head okay and then let me let me remove all these all the code okay let me just remove this code and remove this code i don't need a new node also okay now what i need is i need a point okay i need a pointer that will point to uh that that will point okay that will be used inside the while loop okay and that will be used inside the while loop and then i i also need okay i need a similar i need a similar pointer let it be x okay let it be x and now okay i need this pointer and this this can be head next okay head next so it can start from next of head okay here we are just uh, decreasing number of steps okay so while ptr next is not equal to head while ptr next is not equal to head ptr will be equal to ptr next okay or why ptr is not equal to head it will be or let us let us do till till next okay till head till not equal to head so it will start from 1 2 3 4 and 5 and now 5 okay next of 5 is 1 so it will stop at 5 okay it will not go inside the loop okay so we have pointed to next okay we are pointer next is not equal to head then we need to point to next okay so we will end at the last node okay when we end at the last node what we will do first of all we will we will just write ptr ptr okay we will first of all first of all we will have the node okay so let me give let me write over here let me write ptr next okay ptr next will be equal to next of head okay it will be equal to next of head okay so ptr next is equal to next of head and then head is equal to next of head okay head is equal to next of head okay so head is equal to next of head and then we need to free x okay we need to free x and then return head okay so we have deleted at first so here i will just uh, press alt shift and down alt shift and down i will give deleting at first okay deleting deleting at first and over here i will write delete delete at first okay so over here we have delete at first let me give delete over here delete delete at first okay delete at first and then we need to we need to remove 101 okay we need to remove 101 let me close this problem over here and then run the code okay now let me first of all we will just comment these things out okay so i will comment all these things out and then run the code so let me run the code over here okay so we are deleting at first and you can see that we have deleted this element one over here okay so this was about deletion operation in a circular linked list and this was about implementing circular linked list as well as uh, doing some of the operations of a circular linked list so that's it for this particular session let's meet in the next session thank you everyone